we do indeed we've come up onto an area that I was hoping to find lots of different kinds of animals and we have managed to see lots together so we've got a beautiful herd of impalas zebra and wildebeest that are all hanging around together and the reason why they're all together is because they've been using this open section for the night so all of them would have come here during the late hours of yesterday afternoon and they've then stayed here during the night because it's very open so they can see if there's any sign of predators coming and the reason why it's so open is as you can see straight down the middle there is a runway so this is an airstrip where some of the guests that come to the lodges in this area they land here and they go to the varying lodges from here but the animals use it because it's so open and clear they can see any lion or leopard that's coming and therefore stay nice and safe and so that's why you've got a mix of them together also you see the grass is very very short and both zebra and wildebeest like short grass and so that's why you're finding them here ah Ali you want to know how different animals adapt to their environment well it depends on the animal but each animal is really is designed for a specific sort of way that they will coexist with others within an environment and if you have to remove them so let's say we had to take these zebras from here and put them somewhere else they will adapt and they will change to try and survive but there's certain areas that the zebra will just not be able to survive because it needs certain requirements so it needs lush green grass during the summer months to be able to get conditioned to survive the winter months where the grass dies off and becomes a little bit lean if you had to take the zebra and put it into a desert it's really going to suffer and, and probably not survive so each animal will adapt according to small changes but you can't make drastic changes it's like taking you from Hong Kong and then putting you into the Antarctic with no clothes or anything you're not going to be able to survive and it's the same thing with them so they adapt to small changes so if we have lots of rainfall then they'll move into an area where it's not so marshy and it's better conditions for them to be able to move around in or if they'll follow rain after a winter where there's a little bit of green grass that may have flourished so those kind of things they can do but in terms of actually changing their way that they do things is very very difficult uh, Ali well camouflage is vitally important for cam uh, for hunting and surviving now if we have a look here we've got three different animals with three very different colors and very different patterns but each one of these is an animal that is hunted a lot by the predators out here and yet their numbers are still thriving and they're still surviving and in fact in the impalas which are the small little antelope that ran past us they are hugely successful as you can see by all of them stretched out there and you would think with their bright colors that we would be able to see them really really easily and that we would be able to um, and the predators would be able to see them and hunt them now the thing is with them is that they've got an interesting camouflage it's a little bit different to other animals you see that they have three different sort of colorations so they have a dark top layer a lighter middle layer and a very light tummy now that's to match the horizon so if we look at the zebras from very very far and we had to make this picture black and white the impalas will actually blend in really really well so their top layer will blend in with the darkness of the trees and then the middle layer top of the grass and then that very light bottom layer will be the sort of stalks of the grass and so it's called counter shading and so that's how they're able to camouflage a little bit and the same with the zebras they have the broken stripe pattern so they are able to then break up their outline which helps them then to camouflage a little bit and you'll find with the predators things like leopard they have the spotted pattern because they like to spend time in thickets and in areas where there's lots of dense bush and so that matches the dappled light whereas lions are more out in the open plains in the light colored grass and so their light coloration helps for them to blend in and it's a game between these two spe um, animals the predators and the, and the prey as to which one can conceal and camouflage themselves better so as that they're not hunted now with prey animals you'll see that most of the time they live in big groups so that they have more eyes and ears because the predators camouflage tends to be a lot better now, Alan, you're wondering if the zebras always have stripes? Yes, in this area, the zebras always have stripes. In fact, all zebras across the world will always have stripes, but they do have different kinds of stripes. So each zebra has a unique striping pattern. It's not the same on every zebra. It's like your fingerprints. Every person has a different fingerprint. It's the same with the zebra. They have different stripes, and that allows them 
then to be unique from one another. Now I'm going to turn around and just follow all of these animals down because it is very, very pretty down there. So let me just quickly turn for you. You can see there's still some impalas that are coming across. There's a lonely wildebeest and a, well, there's actually quite a few wildebeest there, a lot more than I thought, and a stallion zebra. So that's probably the sort of the stallion of the herd. So he's going to be looking after this group of zebras and making sure that they're all safe. A zebra male is a very, 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 very strong animal and they often are very defensive of their females. So they look after their females. And that's only here in South Africa. In South Africa, we have it a little bit different to Kenya and Tanzania and Botswana because there, the zebra herds are absolutely massive. You go into those big open grasslands and you'll find thousands and thousands of zebras walking together and so a male can't keep all those females to himself and so they tend to have a looser situation where they um, will just compete for a female that comes into heat whereas here the male will keep his females because we have a far smaller population of zebras and he makes sure that his females are looked after and that no other males come and take his females away from him and you can see there's a little baby that's having a morning drink so it's having a little suckle